Hey everyone, it's Kirk McLean here, and you're watching Clay's Canucks Commentary. Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary Live, presented to you by Van City Experts Real Estate. I am Canuck Clay, Clay Emo, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It is a rare Friday night live stream. It's Friday, October the 20th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for Daily Canucks Insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being here with me. Like I said, on a rare Friday night, I had a work event on Wednesday, so I was downtown when I would usually be streaming. Uh, so at 11 p.m. on Wednesday night, I was downtown after we ran a, a Christian concert by Sanctuary Mental Health. So that's what this shirt is. It's Sanctuary Mental Health Ministries. It's a Christian organization that helps people with their mental health. And kind of, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but the, the back of the shirt's really cool. I'm not sure if you could see that over the top of my chair, but it says, take it easy on the back. And then last night, it I was hosting a very famous Christian singer at my place. And then I was driving him home downtown at 11 o'clock when I should have been streaming. So not should have been streaming when I would have been streaming. So that's why I decided that I want to stream tonight. And that's why I'm here. And I'm so glad that you are here on a Friday night. So right away, moderators, do what you need to do to keep this a safe and positive space. Members, that's legends, Hall of Fame and franchise members, thanks for your support. And to everyone else, no matter where you're watching from, whether you're my beautiful neighborhood of Steveson and Richmond, in the city, lower mainland province, country, continent, or around the world, thank you for being here. You know that I know that you could be doing anything else, getting ready for work, school, or bed, or all three, but the fact that you are here with me, I always appreciate you, and I never, ever take you for granted. So, this is how you can get involved tonight. Subscribe. So you get active in the chat section and get my videos every single day and notified of my videos. Like this video, 30, 40 of you in here, which is more than my usual streams. Um, maybe I should do more Friday night streams, but 40 of you in here, 11 likes. So let's bump that up to at least 20. You know how I love that 50% rule. You can leave a donation like legendary Lucas Gates just did. I'll get to in a second. Thank you, Lucas. So you can leave a donation get that donation train out of the station. You can gift a membership, which is the same as a $5 donation, and I get someone franchise membership for a month. You can become a member yourself, upgrade your own membership, or you can, if you're listening on a podcast platform, please rate and review. So this is what I'm gonna do. I can acknowledge Lucas and Carol's generosity. I'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna talk about the Canucks, uh, very quickly about the loss yesterday. Talk about a very interesting tidbit I heard on, on Sakaris and Price with Frank Saravalli. And then I will turn it over to you. Just your thoughts on what we've seen so far. The Canucks have played now only four games, two and two. Uh, we've seen some good, bad and ugly already. But let's acknowledge some generosity right now. And we will start, whoa, everyone's being generous tonight. I like it. Maybe I should stream more often on a Friday night. So let us start with legendary Lucas Gates. Legendary Lucas Gates starts us off. $10 donation. Being told a big event is happening on November 20th. Looking to be involved. Mm, dun, dun, dun. If it happens, I may have to change my legend. Yes, you told me that already, Lucas. No problem. Uh, like, sub, member, and more. Yes, and you told me that already, but that one is no problem as well. So thank you, Lucas. Whatever November 20 is, I can't wait to hear about it. No problem if you have to change the game, and no problem if people like, sub, and become a member. And thank you, Lucas, for the goal horn once again, and thank you for starting us off tonight. Then we have legendary Carol Bovenlander. She gifts five memberships, so five new franchise members. Mackie, subscribe to Clay Emo. You think so, with a name like that, they should be a member already. JGP, Fitness, and Dazzler. Now, 
I, I recognize a lot of these names because you guys are on these chats. That's how you get these memberships, which is awesome. I also noticed that some people get memberships and they fade away, then they come back, which is fine. Not everyone can afford or chooses to buy a membership. So Carol, thank you for donating those five memberships. Let's give Carol some love and welcome everyone to the GLCPC, the Good Looking Connects Positivity Club and the CCC crew, Clay's Connects Commentary Crew. Then we have Justin. Well, I, he did 15, but we'll go in order. He does five. Whoops. I Justin, I give you the intro song. <laughs> when I get donations, my fingers get a little bit funky and it's it's loop it's Friday night, so you know what that means. You're getting loopy clay right now. It's the end of a work week. It's loopy clay. So Justin comes in. Um, Hall of Fame member Justin Credible comes in with the five more memberships. I think we're gonna run out of people to give memberships to. Amit, Dylan, VXWXZ, whatever that means. I'll call you end of alphabet. Uh, Dr. Yes, who I've never seen before. That's awesome. And Morgan K. So welcome to membership. Welcome to the CCC crew. And thank you, Justin, for your generosity. Well, I might not even have to do a show tonight. I'll just continue to highlight all your generosity. Because next we have Hall of Fame member Fangirl. Fangirl with a generous $7 donation. My friend had tickets to Pink, flew to Vancouver. Oh, that is too bad. Yeah, obviously, um, you, you can't blame Pink if she's not feeling well and she can't perform up to standards. But yes, we saw it with the night one of the Drake. We saw it now. It is, it's, that's unfortunately one of the, the casualties. Oh, that's probably a bad word to use. I apologize. It's, it's one of the, the, the challenges if you're coming from out of town and you don't have a lot of flexibility is when, when something like that happens. But Fangirl, thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate your generosity and support as always. And then Hall of Fame member Justin Credible doubling his five with another 10 memberships. Are there even, are there even 10 people in here to give the memberships to? We shall see. I got Philip. Filthy Phil, Jaspreet, James Co, Coach Ryan, Bean Child, Just Degree, Steven, Sam, and Kel. Well, we made it. Another 10. That's a $50 donation from Justin Credible. Thank you, Justin, and welcome to membership. All 10 of you give some Justin some more love. And then legendary Lucas Gates, being a true legend, he comes in with another. Hey, I can't, how come I can't highlight it? There it is. I'm going to highlight it right now. And a $10 donation from Lucas Gates, the legend himself. Kind of weird to be hanging with the CCC crew on a Friday night. Yeah, tell me about it. I'll try and get a good night's sleep. Yes, because I have to help out with my adaptive soccer club tomorrow. Awesome. I hope the weather is good for you, Lucas. Blazing soccer dogs hype. So thank you. Let's give the soccer dogs some hype. And let's give Lucas some hype as well. So you guys, I am basically seven or eight minutes into the show. I haven't said anything of significance from my side. But already, you have generously given me 27 plus 20. You give me $127 worth of donations, uh, 27 of them outright, and another 100 in terms of membership. And all of those things are awesome. So I guess, I guess, it was loopy clay. I, I guess now's a good time to share what I was going to share with you. Um, it, it's not like earth shattering, but I, I think it's kind of, good news especially for members and it might encourage even more membership so before i get to the canucks talk you guys i will share this i've been thinking about ways to make franchise membership more valuable and i talked to some of the the legends and hall of fame members about this already on one of our zoom chats and we we tossed around a lot of really good ideas including like birthday shout outs but uh, and the birthday shout outs was a really good idea but then i think it's going to get too crazy to try it because I don't ask for birthdays anywhere except for our contest, which I don't do all the time. And it's going to take, it's going to too much back and forth, especially with people just kind of in and out for a month. So this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Um, starting in November, I'm going to move to two members live streams a month. So I'm going to move to two members live streams instead of only one a month. I'm going to do two. So a, a small, a small incremental, but I still think that's a, that's increased value to all members, including franchise members. 
And then independent of that, independent of that, what I'm going to do is I probably won't stream on Monday nights anymore because I, I feel that when I stream after Canucks After Dark, I still have the energy, but I don't say anything new that I didn't say with Parker on Canucks After Dark. And with Parker joining Game Over, there's going to be more opportunities to collab and stuff like that. So, um, so I, I'm, I'm tossing around all these ideas, but what I'm thinking about right now is going to two member streams a month starting in November. Then what I was thinking of doing is not streaming on Monday nights, but then throwing in an additional occasional Friday night or Saturday night stream when the Canucks play. So obviously that's not tonight. This is a makeup for last night. So I, I'm just kind of tossing those ideas around. I'll probably get some more feedback from some of the members, but yeah, um, that's something that I, that I'm thinking about as well. Just, another opportunity it's not to make people it it's not to make people um it's not to force them it's not about forcing them to buy memberships to get more of my content because you know i try to make everything as accessible as possible but it is giving them kind of like a bit of a bonus so that's what i'm thinking about i see some good feedback to that i see some good feedback about not, no no need to go uh, double on Mondays and imagine if there's game over then connects after dark and then my show that'd be crazy so just a couple of things that I'm thinking about nothing set in stone but some things that I'm thinking about right now also want to recognize this donation from long time long time uh Franchise member Coach Rob from me and Shannon and Charlie on a night when the Victoria Royals won. Awesome. Congratulations to the Royals. Yes, I saw Taylor. I saw you guys talking about the ads and yeah, uh, no judgment. Do what makes sense. I know Lucas and others. I know I subscribe to YouTube Premium as well because for because for for me it just um, it's worth it's worth it. Paying that extra money for me is worth not having to skip ads or watch ads, but that's just me. That's, I'm not saying that you need to do it or you should do it. That's just something that, that, um, I decided to do just for, for my own viewing pleasure. I should talk about the Canucks for a few minutes and then we'll get into, I uh, actually have a, we're not going to play any games tonight, but I have a fun, like fill in the blank exercise that I want to, I want all of us to play. And I want to highlight some of your, um, of your contributions um, to that as well. But let's talk about this Vancouver Canucks team. I'm not going to break down last night's game in full, um, but we've seen, as I titled this, this, this stream tonight, we've, we've seen two wins and two losses. And I say two big wins. They, it doesn't mean the Canucks dominated both games. We know they dominated the home opener, but they actually got outplayed in the rematch against against Edmonton, but they won. So still two big wins for sure because they're against a divisional opponent in the Edmonton Oilers. Then I'd say two ugly losses because I'd say the loss against Philly was ugly. 2 nothing, no offense. And then I'd say there were elements of last night's loss. The Canucks uh, played Tampa Bay pretty much straight up. Uh, when you look at the all the analytics and and the, and shots and everything, it was it was relatively it was way closer than the they played a lot better. They did even talk said he liked the effort a lot more last night. But the uh, ugly part of the losses was Tyler Myers' game, quite frankly, um, and and it's been well documented. The first uh, penalty, sh uh, the first power play goal that Tampa scored, it wasn't just Myers like the the Canucks inexplicably brought it back into their own zone, and then Myers. I know it, it, it's ironic because you're told not to put it up the middle. You're told to whip it down the boards, but in that particular case, all the players were on the boards and there was no one up the middle. So <laughs> I don't know if he panicked, if he just, uh, whatever, but he put it up the middle. Uh, sorry, he put it down the side. It got batted down and, and Dem glad to make a big save. And then the kind of scored, I mean, excuse me, the Tampa Bay lightning scored. Then Tyler Meyer scores a goal. So is it redemption? Is it whatever, evening out, whatever you want to call it. That was nice to see. But then in the third period, I don't think it was the game winning goal. I'm pretty sure it was the fourth goal for Tampa. Another power play goal where I, I've watched the highlight so many times. I still don't know what Myers was doing because PD was battling with two Tampa Bay Lightning players. 
so if PD's doing okay in that battle and there's two lightning players, then follow the math because it's five and four. So now if PD's in there with two lightning players, now it's three on three. But then Myers goes into the scrum and I don't mind that if Myers knows that he's going to win the puck out of that scrum. But instead, not only does he not get the puck, but he misses his check on the tap of a guy and he checks PD. So what was... A three on three, <laughs> it became a five on two <laughs> because Myers landed on PD, and then all three Tampa guys, came, uh, the two Tampa guys in that scrum came out of it. So now it's a five on two. And then if you have a five on two and it's Hedman, Kucherov, Stamkos, and Point, I don't like it. I don't like our chances. So that's the ugly part of last night's game. It was ridiculous. You know what's not ridiculous? Five more memberships from Carol. Carol, amazing. It goes to Antagonist, Azen, Aun, Quatrob, and Matt Lee, Matthew Lee. Amazing. Thank you, Carol, for your, your generosity. You guys are... Uh, you guys are are outdoing yourselves tonight for sure. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, so I, I'm laughing. Yeah, okay. Two points now. Same as two points in March and April. I get that. I get that. Uh, I'm not willing to say that <laughs> Myers cost us a playoff spot. There's been other players that have made other mistakes in other games. But yeah, that was that was not pretty. That was not pretty for sure. So I'll, I'll talk about where the Canucks are in the standings, and then I, I want to play a, a fill-in-the-blank game with you. So it's way, way, way too early to talk about playoff scenarios right now. Like it's, it's there's four games down, seventy-eight to go. But, but at least we can look at the at the standings, and it's not like we're already out of it. Because remember last year at this time. Uh, after seven games, I think we were 0 5 and 2. I think we had two points in the first seven games. So when you look at the division, we're outright in fourth because we are behind these three teams Vegas, 5 and 0, LA, and Calgary with five points. We have four. Seattle has, has three, and they play one more game than us. Anaheim could tie us. So I, I guess we're not outright fourth. Anaheim could tie us with the win. And then Edmonton's played four. San Jose played four. So, so already we're, we're sitting in fourth place, which is okay. And then when it comes to the wild card, we're actually the first wild card team right now. Um, because, but then remember, uh, there's like four teams that have four points. So again, very, very early to say. By the way, I was looking at this. Have you seen some of the surprises? Ottawa and Detroit are three and one. Ottawa and Detroit are three. Philly is three and one. So those are th three surprising teams to me. Ottawa, Detroit, and Philly are all three and one. And then on the West, no surprises in these three teams. Yeah, I, I, West, it's not so much who's doing well that's surprising. It's who's not doing well. And to me, it's Winnipeg, Edmonton, and Seattle, um, all teams that made the playoffs. So again, super, 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 super early. We can't draw too much, uh, too many conclusions out of what's happening so far. But um, yeah, it's early. It's very, very, very early. The other thing I wanted to say, and this is what I'm going to put in the chat right now. Um, I had some fun with this on Twitter. Uh, in fact, I, I posted this on Twitter last night and it got, uh, it's at 22,000 engagements, 189 likes and 70 responses. So I'm going to put it in here right now. And I'm not see, I'm not sure how, how nicely it comes out in the comment section. Okay. So, Tuesday night, Myers hits PD with a point shot. Thursday night, Myers tackles PD in the corner or on the side. Saturday night, Myers blank. So you guys, I want you to fill this in right now. Tuesday night, Myers hits PD with a point shot. Thursday night, Myers tackles PD in the corner. Saturday night, Myers blank. 
Put it in your comments. I'm going to highlight a bunch of them now for the next three minutes. So what does Myers do? What does Myers do tomorrow night? So Adam starts off, says Myers benched. <laughs> Kel, Myers plays goal. <laughs> Myers will throw water at clay. Myers sits out. Myers trips EP40. Myers traded for a big Mac meal. Myers blocks a PD shot. Ah, turnabout is fair play. <laughs> Myers gets punched by PD for trying to trip him. Got to recognize this. Wonderful, generous donation from Harry Ma. So let's do that and we'll continue to get to some of your Myers stuff. Man, you guys are so generous tonight. I think I should stream every Friday night or maybe I should stream every night. I don't know what it is, but thank you. Harry, hi, Clay. How are you? Do you still have faith in the Canucks to become a Of course. It's only four games. Yes, I do, Harry. Do you think Myers will play tomorrow or sit out? I do think Myers will play tomorrow because uh, as much as we're ragging on him tonight and we're having fun with it, it's not, let's not take this too seriously. Um, I think he's still, <laughs> if, they, if they line up lefty righties, he's still better than Juleson. And McWard is not is on the farm. Um, yeah, the uh, Juleson's the only right shot guy that's up here. And then, uh, yeah, and and then he's still better than Friedman, who I thought was just okay last night. So thank you, Harry, for the donation. I certainly have not lost faith, and I do think Myers will play tomorrow. Appreciate it. Let's continue to get back to your comments. Myers rages at Canucks Twitter. Myers is held hostage. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Myers runs over Demko. My, oh, this is an answer, but I'll, Myers has two points after four regular season games with a plus four. His stats looking no doubt better than his poor play against the Bulls. Okay, thank you, David. Myers accidentally shoots in our own net. Myers steals Taylor Swift from Travis Kelsey. <laughs> that was pretty good. I actually thought about making this a contest where I give away something for the best thing, but no, no, we'll, we'll just keep it like this. Myers punches Kachuk. Okay, so that would get him on our good side. Myers hits a hat trick. Myers falls on Petey. Didn't he do that already? Myers becomes the next Michael Myers. Yes, how, yeah, I know that what it is. Thank you, Andrew. Adam, sorry, Myers costs us two points. What's our margin of error? Four games, stopped accepting failure. You tell me, Adam, are you saying that I'm accepting failure i feel adam is kind of spicy tonight which is fine um yeah you tell me adam you you tell me what you think mark friedman kind of sucks wasn't the best debut maybe we should try myers with hughes to see if hughes can make him a yeah antagonist that's tricky though because then you you want myers to play the minutes that hughes plays if they are partners myers scores a game-winning own goal Credit to OEL, assistant from Forsling, forcing Demko to request a trade. Patrick Wastel. Oh, there's so much there, Justin. But yes, don't forget tomorrow we are going to see OEL and Forsling. OEL, obviously, with the Canucks last year. Forsling, a Canucks draft pick. I, I hope. I hope that they... Um, I hope that they do not play a huge role in, you know, in, our, in the outcome tomorrow. Myers was... Turn over a few more pucks, gets mad and yells and tells YouTube not to do what they're doing. Oh, I see. The good callback, Taylor, to what you were talking about earlier. Tyler Myers, no talking to him when we won two in a row. Well, that's good because, you, Jay, you want, you want some of our players not to be talked about because that means they're just doing their job and they're doing it uh, in a workmanlike fashion and not being noticeable. Myers quarterbacks PP1. Tyler says he will smarten up. LOL third just suck cost Vancouver every Vancouver game every night. <laughs> Rick, I'm not sure. LOL third just suck. I'm not sure what you're saying there, Rick. Oh, Myers proves the doubter is wrong. I like that. An optimistic approach. M Myers accidentally injures Clay's other Achilles. <laughs> hey, uh, tomorrow, it's crazy. It's the tomorrow will be 10 weeks since my injury. Wait, 1926. 2, 9, 16, 23, 30, 7, 14, 21. Yeah, tomorrow is the 10-week mark 
since my injury, and that means I'm two and a half weeks away from physio and getting this boot off finally. Although my my I finally got my handicapped uh, or my disa- my handicapped parking permit, which I'm legitimately allowed to have. But uh, by the time I applied for it and my doctor signed off on it and then it got approved, yeah, 10 weeks in and I finally got it, but I will use it for sure. Myers will cause a tripping penalty and cost the Canucks. Myers reason PD is hurt and why PD doesn't want to sign long-term. Ugh, I hope not. It's not just about Myers, that's fair. Myers traded for Louis Erickson. How is this funny? <laughs> it's all right, Adam. It's all right. We're just going to have to agree to disagree uh tonight with with whatever yes taylor figure out a way figure out a way to to stay around myers is gonna suck regardless of who he plays with i'm sure talk it gave myers a talking to nicely done tyler nicely done 50 games from now nux missed the playoffs by four points myers leaves ep4 to leaves how's his joke well adam uh i'll start that and we'll come back to it eight months from now just keep Myers off the PK. Jeff, uh, this is actually a really good question because people were asking why is Myers on the PK? It's because Hughes and Hronik play, usually whoever plays um, on the power play, you use the other four guys for the PK. So that's why Hughes is on PP1, obviously. Phil Hronik is on PP2. So then you use your other four defenders to do the two penalty killing units. So last night it was Cole, Myers, Susie, and Friedman. Um, because usually you don't play a guy on power play and penalty kill at least a lot. Maybe once in a while to to break up the, you know, to give a guy a rest or to, to try something different. But generally uh, for defensemen, you either play power play or penalty kill. Um, not so much forwards because we've seen Miller and 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 pd play on the penalty kill but yeah good point great question but yeah it's, if you don't play myers on the pk and then you have to play hughes or Hronik on the pk i'm not sure that you want to do that uh third pair defenseman gotcha rick thank you the canucks are port developing their own draft picks if myers is traded it helps but no one can step up as a top four role at the moment and play the minute he does yeah justin that's a great point and before i go to all your questions i'm going to bring up something that that frank cervalli said so justin thank you for reminding me that i was going to talk about that because it, it has exactly to do with that panthers easy win myers throws a stick in the stands talk it talk it. yeah i get it tyler <laughs> thank you tyler myers loses his way to the arena for the game and and thugs come out and put him in a van and drop him off a coach rob condo uh shannon that is very creative if that happens i will uh buy you something long term e- e- oh ltir is now the long-term emo reserve i think that is true Canucks can only win versus Oilers. Well, so far this season, that has been true. Swap Bovilli on Gar- Yeah, Garland's been invisible. So is Bovilli. Maybe there needs to be a change of scenery. Adam says EP40 is going to sign with the Kings. Myers Jones, I'll be in the closet. <laughs> Myers is going to switch sports and become a tackle for the Seahawks. He might do well there. Mikheyev, yeah, Harry, I'm, I'm hoping that he plays soon. He's on this road trip, so maybe he plays tomorrow because the Canucks didn't practice today. That would be a nice injection. I don't know. Maybe he plays tomorrow. That would be great, Harry. James, funny how these clowns blame Myers for everything. If he ever gets traded, who are these clowns going to blame next? Yeah. uh, I'll just say he had a rough night last night. I'll put it that way. I'm I'm not a Tyler Myers hater. In fact, I've I've talked about how he's actually been okay and how much Rick Tockett likes him, but he did have a rough game last night. And there you go. Peter says not just Myers. There are even bigger issues than him. Myers helped one of the two short goals against Toronto last year. Canucks fans, including me, zero forgiveness and the past is the past. <laughs> Myers dangles Kachuk and scores a between the legs snipe. Nice. I love the Myers check on PD and let Tampa score was great. I'm not sure who James is. <laughs> Got a very mysterious icon there. Tampa fan. Ah, there. But I was rooting for Canucks that game. But they can only beat the Oilers. Yeah, they're 2-0 against the Oilers for sure. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna whip through this last part. Myers retires post game. Tries to hand a basketball with his brother for the Knicks. He's got the size. Myers is 6'8 tall and plays like a <laughs> like he's 5'6. Trade Garland Bovillier for Max Domi or Tyler Bertuzzi. Not sure Toronto's making that trade, Jay. Just give away those two. Canucks, Brock Besser owns Oilers organization. 
Myers plays like a lost girlfriend or boyfriend. I'm not sure if you say it's girl. Puck holds in three goals in three games. Deserves warm up and a chance on top line with PD. He'll get here eventually, Jay. He'll get there eventually. Kuzmenko should move to Tampa and play with Cooch. EP depends for top player on that team minus the tank. <laughs> well, you guys are out there with your theories tonight. We're going to blame the next D-man up. Jason is a smart guy. When you're at your lowest, you can only go up. That is very true. That is very true, Lucas. Carol, also very true. $5 donation from legendary Carol Bowmanlander. Hi, Clay. Please give me a call sometime. There's some stuff we need to discuss. Yes, Carol, I can give you a call over the weekend. I can call you over the weekend for sure. All right. I'm going to uh, pause on the comments just so I can get to what i wanted to share and then we will do my mid-show sponsor read and then we'll get back to get back to more of your comments if i dare and thank you everyone for your your generosity tonight between the donations and the membership gifting you guys are um you guys are very very generous so last thing i'll say um and then i'll and then i'll do my mid-show sponsor read and turn it over to you again even though i just did frank sir valley was on sakaris and price and what was really fascinating he told the story, and Justin, this kind of goes to your point about how um, how the Canucks don't necessarily draft well. And this was in this was in um, relation to this was in relation to um, the trade for Philip Hronick last year. So you might remember that when the Canucks traded for Horvat or traded Horvat away. They traded Horvat to the Islanders and they got basically Aturatu, Anthony Beauvillier, and and um and a first round draft pick. Or second round draft pick. I think it was a second, right? Refresh me. Then they turned around and they flipped that draft pick in the trade for Phil Hronick. Now uh, what Frank Saravalli said was very interesting. They said that the Canucks had been calling for calling on Philip Hronick since the start of the season because Philip Hronick is a legitimate top four D man on the right side. And those are very, very, those players are very, very hard to get. No one trades those guys usually. So Detroit said, thanks for your interest. And then they kind of said, but not right now. First round pick. Thank you, Fangirl. Then, close to the trade deadline, according to Frank Cervelli, Detroit called Vancouver and said, are you still interested in Philip Hronick? And Vancouver said, yes. What would it cost us? Then Detroit said what it would cost them. And then they basically gave the Canucks the priority they said if you take this offer in the next whatever hour or hour and a half or 30 minutes whatever we will not make chronic available to other teams basically you have first dibs on him so that's a really interesting story so then the cocks pulled the trigger obviously and and now they have a bona fide number uh whether you call him a top 4d a number one right shot d quinn hughes is our number one d but our best right shot d in because imagine if we didn't have chronic imagine if it was myers Juleson and McWard or Myers, Juleson and Friedman or whatever. It, that doesn't sound so good. So here's the thing that kind of relates to Justin's point too about drafting. It is very rare that you can trade for a, a bona fide top four right shot defenseman. They are much more rare than left shot defensemen. And that's why it's a big deal when you can get one. So that's why the Canucks had to give up, you know, a hefty price to acquire Philip Hronick. But if you can't trade for these type of players and you can only draft them, and then that's going to take a while. So at least, you know, the Canucks have Tom Villander in their system, which was a good pick. That's why I know a lot of people were upset. That get Zach Benson or get this guy or get that guy. But if you have an opportunity to get a, a good right shot D-man in the draft, you absolutely have to take it. So what's the drop-off going to be between Villander and Benson? Who knows? Um, Benson's already starting to have an impact already, but I think we have to play the long game with this one Canucks fans with Volander and, and know that if he's another top four right shot D man, that's great. Cause those guys are, those guys are very, very 
hard to come by. So wanted to just kind of share with you, if you have time, go watch that Frank Cervelli um, interview with, with um, Securus and Price. It was quite fascinating and it was a really, really, really good read. Jay, thanks for your, uh, thanks for your message. I just got your text. Yeah, this one is much more visible, but I will, yeah, it's just cleaner, but I, I hear what you're saying. I, I can fool around with the other one. The other one just doesn't show up as well, but um, I'll, I'll message you, but thank you for, for texting me. So there's some thoughts for you guys. I will do my mid-show sponsor read, and then I'll get to a few more of your questions. Uh, keep it clean, you guys. Keep it nice. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, we're having a good night. Let's not wreck it even though it is Friday night. So maybe I'm not the only one who is being loopy, but yeah, just keep it, just keep it uh, respectful, keep it positive and we will keep on going. Thank you to my primary sponsor, Van City Experts Real Estate. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Shout out and thank you to my secondary sponsor, Perform Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Check them out at ptform.com. Thank you to Gassy Jack Art Maker, that fine artwork. Thank you to Monkey Nine Brewing, my eternal sponsor. And thank you to Vessi Footwear. Use the URL, tinyurl.com slash Vessi Clay. Receive a free pair of socks off of your next Vessi order. Don't forget that I am organizing. I'm not, let's start again. What am I talking about? I'm not organizing. I am going on this trip to Seattle, Friday, November the 24th. You get the a bus ride to and from Seattle. You get a one night stay downtown Seattle, um, and you get tickets a ticket to the Vancouver Canucks Seattle Kraken game. I added it all up. I think it adds up to about six hundred US. This package is actually available for six hundred and fifty Canadian, which is pretty good. You're probably saving at least a hundred bucks on this package. And if you wanted a chance to go see the Canucks play in Seattle, you can do so. And you can do so. Crazy P is going to be on the trip. I will be on the trip as well. So if you want to hang out with me and or Crazy P, contact Neil Shark. Neil Chark. I think I do that every single time. Neil Chark. Neil C at uniglobecarefree.ca. Again, that's Neil Chark. Neil C at uniglobecarefree.ca. And just tell them that you're interested in learning more about this trip. Already a few people have, have bought seats on the bus from my my 12 hour live stream on the weekend which is pretty cool finally if you're looking for connect tickets make sure you email me at connectclay at gmail.com mid shows reminder to you to subscribe like the video leave a donation become a member upgrade your membership give to membership and if you're listening on a podcast platform make sure you rate and review finally i put a poll up at the start i said what's going to happen tomorrow night and the results are in connects win in regulation 39 percent Canuck, uh, Panthers win in regulation, 37%. So basically a saw off. Canucks in overtime or shootout, 17%. Panthers in overtime or shootout, 6%. Those add up to 99%, so not bad. 56% winning for Canucks, 43% for Florida. So that is what you guys are saying right now. <laughs> it's, oh yeah. Let's go. Would you trade Garland plus Myers and a first for a young top, right? If it's young and he's good, yeah, and I would. I would. Because then you're at least, if he's an established young player, but who's, I don't know. That seems like a, a kind of lopsided trade. But I, that's why you got to throw in the first, I guess. Is Crazy P allowed to cross the border? We will see. We will see. Neil Chark, not Neil Shark. Neil Chark. Back to the point about drafting our own guys. On the decor, we only have Hughes as our own product. Everyone else is spending through drafts and free agency, giving up picks and own drafted prospects. No, that is true. That is true. Uh, although I think they, they want Brustevich to turn out well. But yes, you are right. Your levy didn't work out. Not getting a lie. It's a cool trip, but kind of overpriced. I can get down there and back for less than half that. Well, well great. I guess that doesn't really, uh, that doesn't really sell the trip. Um... Yeah, including the hotel though and the and the ticket. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Maybe it's the experience too that you're paying for. Starts are concerning. Still relying on Demko getting outshot. Kuzmenko, hope he picks it up. Garland hasn't been doing anything so far. Should the team try Hogs in the top line? Uh, we'll see. I think you try McKay up there first. Columbus, 
Martin was, yeah, I think Martin won. And was he the first star? So good for Spencer Martin. Is this a cup half full mentality given the Canucks lost by a goal last night versus losing 4 nothing for Philly? Well, it's 2 nothing versus Philly, I think, not 4 nothing, right? And, uh, but no, I, a loss is a loss, Fangirl. I, I think you can take solace in the Canucks did play better last night, though, too. We need to do better in drafting, develop our own talent, and not giving them up for short term win. Uh, when now moves when we're nowhere close in the same categories contenders. Yeah, yeah, it's so tricky, Justin, because there's the whole argument of of uh, not giving away picks at all versus giving away fourth and fifth round picks for established talent, which I'm okay with, versus giving away first and second round picks, which you shouldn't do. Hey, Kaya. Yeah, Tyler Myers is on the last year of his contract. I did not see Anderson's hit. Hoping to attend the Kraken Canucks game in February in Seattle. Nice. What if the right-hand D was over 25 but under 30? No, I think that's too old already. Last two games of the trip, Canucks win both, Cody. That is my prediction. The Canucks win both games on the trip. Is Kuzmenko still battling his mind? Is talking prevent him from being that offensive machine? Seems like not going to be as good as last season. Yeah, I'd say Kuzmenko, Garland, and Bovillier have all been quite invisible so far. Dante Fabro, yes, here on Halloween night. Sounds inevitable that the Canucks will eventually sign Bear. Yeah, I think maybe that's why they're trying to carve out one and a half million dollars to two million of salary. If everyone's healthy, then um, you could go Hughes, Hronick. Cole Bear, Susie Myers, or anything like that. Nice. Nine months off after your chemistry final. Beautiful, Taylor. Love it. Adam says, stop trading picks. Do you think the Canucks are interested in Zach McEwen? Nope. Been there, done that. Is Hughes the best player Vancouver's ever drafted. Coach Rob, I wouldn't say that just yet. The Canucks did draft Henrik and Daniel Sedin. They did draft Pavo Bure. I put those guys up there as the best ever as well. Yeah, Kuzmenko has been quiet. There we go. The Twins are the best players. Yep. So far. Fabro 57, Myers 57. Switch jersey for Garland and... I'm honestly, Carol's asked, oh yeah, you're asking Coach Rob, that's fine. I'm expecting a lot more out of some of the players. Demko is one of the only players who has done good. Yeah, I think I think the players that have been noticeable in a good way this year are Demko, Hughes, Hironic a little bit, Miller, Besser, PD a bit, Lafferty a bit. Do you think who's making a slow start was expected considering the sophomore jinx, or do you think he still needs McKay back on the line? I think it's all of those things, Justin, a little bit. A little bit of all those. Yeah, Sedin's Bure, I, I'd agree with that, Adam. With this impatient owner, we're st stuck in the land of mediocrity. I did hear that Bo scored two. Bure was good indeed. I feel bad for Luke Shen. Pedersen is the best we drafted. Yeah, there's a good debate between Pedersen and Hughes. To be honest, we don't have that many holes as we want to win with PD. We might as well trade picks to get better on right-hand D if they aren't old. Fair fair enough. Hey, Patrick, um, will your beautiful baldness cure Myers' turnover syndrome? He said uh, not even his baldness could cure that. PD looks like a draft steal. Yeah, number five. Adam is predicting OEL to score two on us tomorrow. Luke Shen got a big contract in Nashville. Now he's hurt. Stop trading picks and stop drafting players that won't be here until five years later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel Florida won't be easy. Eastern finalists, and despite injuries, they are physical and hardworking. Need to be on toes and have better starts in the full 60. Cody, you should become a coach, man. That's awesome. They drafted Linden, but I, I wouldn't put him up there as the one of the best Canucks players ever. Switch Myers and Garland says Jason. Yeah, we were talking about best players or highest ranked players. Yeah, High, highest drafted players. If Bear is available, do you take him over Myers? I do. Would you be okay if Myers is unloaded without getting an asset back for the $6 million? Yes, but no team's going to do that. 
Right now, Myers can get assets if salaries retained. Exactly. I think the Canucks are still active. Yes. Trading picks is okay as long as it's for regional players who actually help us win. Kaya says, Linden. Bridgestone Arena is generally an arena I feel confident in. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I can't imagine Myers as a forward. Bring back Bear. Yeah, they're, I think they're going to see what his injury is like. Looks like last year with the slow starts and non-60-minute efforts, except for an improved PK and Demko and Bester, I just worry they're still relying too much on Demko. That's fair. At least we have a much better, um, much better backup option. Do you think the Canucks trade Garland? I do, and I think they're, they'll probably have to retain a bit and maybe get a draft pick for him. I don't know if they're going to get an asset, but they could use the money that they saved to go get an asset. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of made this point in my vlog today. If, if you expected the Canucks to be a 500 team, they're, they're right on schedule. But is it the fact that they won two exciting games against Edmonton and they lost the last two? So on a two-game losing streak, would it be different if the Canucks had lost the first two to Edmonton, which we wouldn't be surprised in, but then they had beaten Philly and Tampa, and then you'd say one on a two-game win streak. It's, it's interesting what perspective does as well. I do not think EP is overrated. I do think he's streaky, but I thought last year that he showed that uh, he, he's he got sublime skill. And so, no, I do not think he's overrated. Yeah, he's not the best skater for sure. That, that's for sure, James. PD better than Hughes. You know, when I was doing all my Zoom interviews at the start of COVID, one of, I used to have the six pack or the five hole where I would ask, I would ask all my guests the same questions at the very end. And one of them was, if you're starting a franchise with PD or Hughes, who do you pick? And it was split right down the middle. Waiting for a game where Demko doesn't have to make 30 saves and it's the Canucks to start on time and keep the pedal in the middle for 60 minutes. I agree. Yeah, Hughes' skating is better for sure. Most disappointing this year, most disappointing, I think it's Kuzmenko, Garland, or Bovillier. Garland on defense, 5-8. <laughs> Linda was decent, not the best. I agree. Thoughts on Hughes joining Fox is only two defensemen that haven't allowed a goal whenever they're on the... I did not know that. That's pretty impressive. That's good quality. With Rathbone gone, is Abby going to struggle? Uh, no, I was he that much of a difference maker? I, I don't know enough about the Abbotsford games, to be honest with you. Trade Garland, we packed him with Myers so they can retain on him. Yeah, that's a lot of money going out, though. Uh, you're going to have to retain a lot or give up sweeteners, I think. Garland will do those spin moves like he's Booker T. <laughs> can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> Myers traded for Big Mac. I think I said that one already. <laughs> Are the Canucks close on a contract extension for Pedersen? I don't think so, Harry. All right, good luck tomorrow, Lucas. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the donations. Tampa has a seven or eight game win streak on Canucks. Yeah. If we trade Myers at the deadline, what can we get in return? It depends. If it's close to deadline and and you're trading him to a playoff team that really wants him, you could probably get a draft pick, maybe a middle draft pick for him. Join late wasn't paying attention. No problem. Most people don't pay attention on the streams, Angus. <laughs> hey, Chris. Jack Hughes, did he need to get four? How long are you here for, Clay? I'm wrapping up in the next five minutes because I started at 11. Cody says they are solid and D and Abby. McCord and Hirose were ahead of them. That's good to know. Would I trade PD for Jack Hughes? Yeah, I would. I would. PD is great. PD is like a top 15 player in the league. But I think Jack Hughes is higher in that ranking. And then, you know, there's always the thought of Jack and Quinn together too. But if you're asking me, even independently, I would I would take Hughes over, over PD. Don't have to be the best skater to be a good player. That's true. Who do you think will score the first goal and start in net? I think uh, I think Demko plays tomorrow. I think DeSmith plays on Tuesday. So I think Demko tomorrow, and let's go with Besser scoring tomorrow. 4-2 Canucks is my prediction. Why is Talkit like Myers? Yeah, um, well, he did. I don't, I'm sure he still does, but. Um, Myers is a good leader. Trade PD for Hughes in a second. Yeah. Patterson gone by deadline. I hope for a star player, Jack Hughes. Linden had heart. He did indeed. 100% of Nux for like, yeah, Linden was great. Canucks should have individual goal songs. The Sabres do. I think it may be fun for the players and fans. Might even 
uh, fire the players up to score more. <laughs> My hockey pool isn't going great since I picked Fox over McCarr, especially after that small injury. Oh, what's up with Adam Fox? He's not playing well. Do you think Canucks will pick up anyone in waivers? No, they haven't so far. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Harry, tonight I had KFC for dinner. Actually, let's do that. Let's do um, let's do that for the last five minutes. Let's go ask me anything for the last five minutes now. Sorry, I didn't get to all your... That's good. They had a lot of great questions. I was um, navigating a lot of comments there. But let's go with five minutes of ask me anything and then we will wrap up. So no more... I'm going to be ruthless. No more Canucks or hockey-related questions. Let's go with ask me anything for five minutes. Five minutes. Best pickup line to say to a girl. Well, I haven't had to use a pickup line in 30 years, but I would say, hey, are you tired? And I say, why? I say, well, you've been running around in my mind all night. Does that make sense? Running around in my dreams all night. See, I'm very, I'm not good at these pickup lines. Or was your dad a baker? Because you have some hot cross, but okay, I better not say that one. All right, what do we got here? Lucas, another donation. I thought you were going to bed, Lucas, but no, stay. Stay and keep donating. I'm just kidding. But thank you, Lucas. What do we got? Let's recognize this one. If anyone is in Vancouver and needs volunteer hours, we're always looking for volunteers at soccer. Well, it might be a short notice for tomorrow, but that is... Um, that's awesome. That Thank you for offering that, Lucas. If anyone is interested in getting some volunteer hours, you can hit Lucas up for sure. Yeah, Shannon, I missed a few questions. I'm sorry because uh, because I had to. I didn't get to all of them tonight. Mickey is doing great. Thank you, fangirl. He's very uh, sweet. Always uh, starts the night usually with Gail or Jacob and ends up in the morning with me. I was not going to go to the Pink concert, so for me, it was not a loss. Shannon, ask it again. If it was a Connects question, though, I'm sorry I didn't get to it, Shannon, but if it's a non-Connects related one, uh, type it in again for sure. Uh, for KFC, uh, I prefer whatever the flat piece is. Whatever the... Sean or Kayla, for KFC, what's the flat piece, not the drumstick? Thigh. Yeah, I like the thigh. Thank you. Harry, I like the thigh. Why does YouTube like to ruin good things for people? Yeah, Taylor, I didn't see everything you talked about, but it sounds like you're very hurt, and I apologize. I, I'm sorry for whatever it's going on. Is it simply the ads, or is there something else that I that I miss? Favorite bubble tea flavor? Don't drink the stuff, Steve. I've never ever had one. Never ever had one. Jack is asking me what <laughs> is is Riz. I know it's your ability to, I don't say I say seduce, let's say charm. It's your, I, your, your ability to charm someone through your, your words, your communication. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> Chris, I'm not, okay, Chris. <laughs> you and Harry, you go talk about it somewhere else. Now we got people dropping pickup lines. Great. No problem, Taylor. Good night. <laughs> awesome, Lucas. Great. I am not seeing Killers of the Flower Moon this weekend. That's a movie. Is that the new... Uh... Oh, shucks. I heard about it today, but no, I probably won't go see it. Take care, Lucas. Good night. I haven't tried the Canuck sub from Subway. Is that Was that the question, Shannon, or is that a different question? What will I eat after the show is over? Great question. I will drink my water. I don't know if I'll eat anything. I'm going to do half an hour of studying, and then I'm going to go to bed. So I might not eat. It's a little late to eat, although that's never, ever, look at me. That's never stopped me before, obviously. I actually like churches over KFC. No. Yeah. No, they're pretty equal to me, actually. I just like it when it's cold in the morning, actually. I have not played pickleball. You played for three hours today? Well, um, when I was healthy, 
I wasn't going to, I, I was not interested. And now that I've ruptured my Achilles, I, I think there's no way that I'm going to play it because I, I won't play tennis. I won't play pickleball. I won't play softball, at least not for a while. None of those uh, start stop sports with a lot of cutting, sadly. I do not put ketchup on my fried chicken, nor do I put gravy. I just put salt and pepper on it. Crosby was asked about Riz and he didn't know. That's fine. He's got more important things to worry about. In math, they always talk about X and Y, but not you and I. <laughs> well, Kaya, that, that's good. Have you used that one before? Oh, no. Here we go. Forget Loopy Clay. It's Clay's Friday Night Riz. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Don't, no one clip that. No one clip that. I saw we a uh, we at at Oakland Coliseum, and I said, you win some, you dim some. I thought of you and took a pic of it. Yeah, please text it. But it's actually not you win some, you dim some. I say you dim some, you lose some. So uh, a variation. Favorite place to eat in Steveson? I do like the Hog Shack. Um, I went to that breakfast place for the first time. I can't even remember the name. That was pretty good. But I like eating the Hog Shack. Uh, I'll go Chart House too. That one's fine. And um, Chart House. And what's the other one? Obviously, I don't eat in Steveson a lot. Oh, I, I'll eat at Kisimo's. It's the ads and how they won't give people a chance to prove themselves. Like, what do you mean prove themselves? And how I wouldn't be speaking to you guys as much and how I lost two now years of, 2.5 years worth of YouTube time of watch history. Oh, Taylor, yeah. Uh, I must have missed something. Sorry. I, I can't process that super quickly. I'll have to look it up later. Okay, Peter's still dropping some more lines. The Clay Riz patented to work, Gail. Can... <laughs> uh, I think it was more sympathy, Justin. <laughs> Hit the like and have a great weekend, everyone. Can I, Clay, we'll chat later. That sounds great, Jay. Saw Jason yesterday and today. I checked out a new Japanese restaurant today. Yes, the Martin Sorsese movie. That's true. I mean, I did hear about that. I have not seen the new Fraser reboot, and I never watched the original. YouTube perk of membership lessons and rising from uh, Justin. That's actually maybe I should do that. Forget the extra stream. Maybe I just give uh, lessons in dating. Yes, I've been to the PE many times before. Abbotsford is fine. I have friends that live there. I, I visited the two Catholic churches out there. It's fine. Sniper wolf drama is pretty bad. Okay, that's good to know. Take care, James. Thanks for being here. Churches over KFC. Should Rogers uh, do fried chicken? Nah, they don't have to. They have enough already. Different stuff. Fish and chips place. It, uh, Pajos was really good. Monkey Nine has decent fish and chips. So those are two places. Where's your place to eat at Steveson? Yeah, I think I just answered that, PT. I think um, maybe I answered it after you, you wrote it a second time. No problem. Yeah, Popeye's is okay. Out of all the bur burger joints, um, I actually like uh, a Burger King Whopper, quite frankly. Are you from France? Because, madame, you're fine. <laughs> French risk. Kaya, you're good. You're good. Everyone take lessons from Kaya. Always ask and never try to do any harm. Look up the drama. It's crazy. Okay. I will. Proving themselves by that they're a real account. Oh, and how they should find a way to make money based off clicks off their site. How much time is spent by because that seems to be the smarter way. Crosby doesn't need Riz because he's rich. Yeah, Justin, I do remember one of the streams when it was asked me anything, usually it's food or it's wrestling or it's relationships. I remember that. I remember that. Maybe I should just do that for one of the streams just to see what happens. I could get in trouble though. Yes, I've had ice cream and seafood many times at all the places. Filet of fish. Yeah, Red Robins is good. I eat the bonsai burger. There's not one in Richmond though. I'm not watching UFC, but I, I heard there's a big card tomorrow. $500 an hour for lessons. Well, Kaya, you, you do way better than in, in Riz lessons than, than my YouTubing for sure. Yes, I watched SmackDown tonight. Nick Aldiz is great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't eat ramen, Kel, so I would not be the best person uh, the best person to, to talk to. And Shannon, I can answer your question about the Rosie on Robson. Um, is there a hill to the walk arena? Yes, there, but it's not a big hill, but going to the arena, it's a very slight uphill, very slight. 
Um, if you're looking at a place to stay when you come in March, Shannon, the Sandman is actually better because it's it's closer and it's all level. There There is no hills from the Sandman. So it's something to keep in mind, but we can talk about that. Do I like Jollibee? Yeah, but I don't freak out about it like many people do. Yeah, Parker's video from yesterday was good. By giving advice, you can be the Fraser of YouTube. Kind of ironic you haven't seen Fraser. <laughs> Best sushi restaurant or Korean barbecue in Richmond? Um, for sushi, I like going to Matsuyama. It's it's not the best, best ever, but I really like it. And it's reasonable, especially their late night. I go to Gami as well. Korean barbecue, there's that uh, Giyu King is, is pretty good. Are you part phone charger? Because I'm dying without you. Die for me. <laughs> Kaya, you're good. You're good. I'm going to have to hire you. Um, that didn't sound right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's getting late. It's ridiculous. I wonder what's the most inappropriate thing I've said on a stream before. Like that, obviously, I wasn't intentional, but just didn't, it came out wrong. I think calling the 12 year old kid, that wasn't inappropriate. It just, when you think about it in the big, when you step back and think about it in the big picture, by the way, you can tell these Friday night streams, I'm very relaxed. I'm not rushing off. I, I said I was going to leave like 20 minutes ago. But when I, when I called the, what's the kid's name, you guys? What was the young guy's name who won a contest? Or was it Nathan? No, who was it? I called someone. Zach. Zach. Was it Zach? I called Zach, but I did I know how young he was? If I did, why did I do that? And if I didn't, well, then I, I guess I didn't know. That, that was pretty funny. So uh, for all you stream OGs in here, can you remember anything anything else that I've done that was unintentionally inappropriate? <laughs> I, I should, maybe I should be careful how I ask that. Yeah, I, I, I've seen some of the matchups. And, and then Jason and I were talking about it, and I know they, they switched a couple of the fights up last minute. I don't know the hype about pickleball. Someone who plays pickleball will have to tell me. Uh, meetups, not sure yet, Harry. Merch, I've, I've mentioned many times before, January. I went to Shintaro once, Philip. I thought it was quite expensive. I've eaten there only once. The 12-year-old kid was great. He was so scared. Yeah, fitness. So you were around way back then, and were you were you named Fitness Twenty, or did you have a different name? Because that's awesome that you remember that. Stop right there, or I'm calling the cops because you stole my heart. Getting arrested? Okay, I know that one. I know that one. Um, th those are good though, Kaya. You're you're good. You're good. Jolly B is overrated. It is Zach. Thank you. We need more Friday streams, Zach. New draft details. Yeah, I guess the, Canuck, uh, the Canucks, I think all teams have to vote on it by Tuesday or at least give an indication whether they'd be open to doing the draft um, at a decent, like not at a centralized location. Is that an ambulance coming because the, stop, the side of you stopped my heart? That's not bad. We all say things we don't mean to. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, for sure. I just do. The chair falling. Yeah, yeah. Are you no? I don't think it was Paula Abdul uh, being my celeb crush. It was um, I, I, no, I've never had a crush on Paula Abdul. I I've had crushes on Vanessa Williams and Beyonce, uh, but never Paula Abdul. You banned me for no reason for five minutes. Yeah, it wasn't that the last stream. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I showed people's emails and phone numbers. I because I had it on my screen and I I switched. That's that's a good one, Shannon watching but not back in the chat well you got a good memory copperage is not going to work this time around pickleball is more of a middle-aged sport a lot of injuries in pickleball you got no paper no pencil but still you're drawing my attention school supplies there is pickleball is a blend of three racket sports ping pong badminton and tennis and it's inexpensive and ball lasts a long time not a big court it's badminton court and i have, I have a friend who's a tennis pro who's who told me that for pickleball it's a lot because the ball doesn't bounce it's a lot of leaning over bending over and he says that's why there's a lot of achilles ruptures i, I think i'm missing something i don't know why that means more achilles ruptures but we we're talking about ruptured achilles from pickleball for the trip on october 24 does it include lunch or dinner i doubt it i don't think that's including the price i think uh we're on our own harry for for meals are you considering going harry rather do pickleball and curling Give me your best pickup line. Um, 
I don't know. I've to, I've to, I don't I've just, I I've never had to use one. Huh. I have to think about that. I really do. Who's good at badminton in your family? Uh, the two boys are Sean and Jake. All right. For the last two minutes, I'll just answer whatever now. Canucks, non Canucks. This is more of a streaming question. If the Canucks make the playoffs, would you, can you park your stream more of Canucks After Dark? Yeah, there's something we can talk about. We can up up the frequency of Canucks After Dark. But then they'll be game over as well. Yeah. Now I know I got 100 scab calls. So thank you, 20. No problem, Adam. I'm here. I'm here for you. Yeah, fitness, it's very interesting. I, fitness, you may have heard me talk about this too. Yannick Hansen, something about him, maybe just how everyone thinks he's a hockey god. Yeah. I've made this point before fitness that he seems like he's so, he's a lot more brave now that he's he's on the radio. And I think by saying something negative or challenging about the Canucks, he, you can get very popular very easily in this market. Uh, that's the way the market is. I also think that um, that he is smart. He understands the game. But the question fitness, it's more of a neutral question, but I've asked this many times before is, was he this vocal? Was he this insightful when he was on the team? Because if he was like this, like he was a good talker, he was good with young players, he always shared his opinion when he was on the team, then I have no problem with, with, with him on the radio right now. But if he was kind of didn't say anything and, and, and wasn't that involved and and now is kind of talking without impunity or with, sorry, with impunity, then I don't know. There's something, there's something about that that doesn't sit right with me, but maybe I'm just being too sensitive because uh, I do listen when he's on because I think he's got a lot of, a lot of uh, interesting things to say. And I do think his insight's pretty good, but yeah, uh, just kind of a, a gut feeling I have, fitness. Hey, are you a puck? Because I'll stop you in a heartbeat goalie <laughs> I have natural riz. I don't even need to pick up lines. They fall because I am me. And everyone knows how nice I am. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What if that car crash happened outside your house because the driver was distracted watching your stream? That would be kind of inappropriate. Then, yes. Uh, uh, although I, I will tell you this one story, subscribe. I, I got in a car accident once. Um, it wasn't my fault. It was a kid turning left in front of me. It was his fault. And the guy going the other way in the intersection had a red light, right? So we we're, we're greens, we we're greens, we stop, and there was a red light behind. By the way, do you guys like the green color behind me or like the blue one better? I just tried a green because I was wearing a blue shirt. Anyways, so the guy who witnessed the car accident gets out and he's, yeah, we we're all okay. It wasn't a major accident, although the other guy's car got totaled. And then the very first thing the guy says to me is, hey, uh, good job on YouTube. I watch your stream. So that was kind of funny that a guy, uh, that a guy uh, witnessing my car accident uh, watched my streams. No problem, Harry. No problem. Canuck Riz instead of Canuck Clay. KFC or Popeyes? KFC, I don't eat Popeyes enough. Yeah, uh, I like Ryan Henderson a lot. Not a lot of people, not everyone likes his takes. No, Hanson's just on the radio once a week, Jaskrin. Sandman is a great place to stay, but the best hotel is the YMCA. Gotcha. Oh, thank you, Kaya. Clay doesn't need the Riz. He already has the looks. I don't think I have the looks. I think I already have the woman. That's why. Yannick knows the team, 100%. He definitely didn't say anything when he played, I don't think. Hit <laughs> the like button or I'll push your numbers in an email. Oh, I'll push your numbers in an email. Adam, love it. 650 industry plant. I hear what you're saying. I've never played as a goalie on ice, Angus. I, I don't think I have the ability. I'd probably rupture my Achilles tendon. Looks are everything. You need to connect emotionally, mentally. Otherwise, it's just lust, infatuation. Really, love comes organically and through the strong connection. Yeah, uh, let's just say, I don't think Gail liked me for my looks. We'll put it that way. I bought college night tickets to the Halloween National game. Lower bowl tickets. Nice. 55 bucks. Awesome. You like the blue better? Okay, everyone likes the blue. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, this, this kind of looks a little bit artificial, right? Yeah, uh... The YMCA that that uh, Chris is talking about is is closer to the arena than Rosedale, but Sandman's even closer than Y. They're on the same block, basically. A truck drove into the front doors of the bowling alley. Wait, what town are you in? I, I, my boys would be interested in that. Black skate on Halloween night. That's true. That's appropriate. 
you like the blue better. Is it weird to be rec being recognized in public? Um, I enjoy it. Not that I enjoy it because I'm so show offy and I think I'm I'm so popular, but I really enjoy meeting people and I I'm able to express my appreciation to to people for for watching the show. Clay doesn't need Riz. He already has the one. Thank you, Kaya. Yeah, Chris, YMCA is accessible. Shannon is right across BC Place. Actually, uh, if I may, Chris, the the Sandman is is one block. Uh, YMCA is closer to BC Place. Sandman is closer to Rogers Arena, but they're on the same block, if that makes sense. Alternating green, blue light. Well, check this out. I think it's supposed to no there's one that flashed oh there whoa, whoa what's going on okay i'll just let it do whatever it's doing i wonder if it's voice activated uh whatever we're winding up anyways i'm not sure if i'm going to the game on halloween yet jay uh i wasn't planning to but i might campbell river oh i know i know that bowling alley i hope everyone is okay excited to see oil score a hat trick i sure hope not Fitness getting sick and tired of the Myers talk. And at that, with that, I think I will wrap up. Oh, I should say this. What did you say, Rob? On Tuesday, I'm walking on the ferry and my sister's going to meet me and we're going to check out the hotels near the arena. Oh, cool. So you're going to be downtown on Tuesday. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, check out the Sandman. Check out the Rosedale and others. Oh, the green is hard on the eyes. I see. Justin, to be open to love, you never know when it will happen and when that special person is sometimes closer than you think. It naturally happens when you least expect it. Uh, Justin, I agree. And I will say, and you know, I, I get that I'm coming from a place where I met my, my lifelong partner in high school, and that's rare. That's the exception. That's not the rule. But uh, sometimes for people who try so hard to find relationship or to find love, I think they try too hard. And if... I'm not saying it's automatic, but when you don't try as hard, yeah, sometimes the person uh, falls in your lap unexpectedly. Does it react to the volume of my voice? It does. Oh my gosh. Jacob. Jake. You're right. I talk quietly. I talk quiet. No, no. It's because I'm close to it. Hey, how are you? Oh, wow. Wow. So loud. Wow. Blinding me. That is nuts. I just learned something new. I just learned something new. I just learned something new. This is really cool. This is really cool. Tyler, great suggestion. I did not know that. Did the truck get a strike? It's voice activated. Well, you guys are all very smart. All right, no problem, Shannon. I, I'm I, now. I'm just. I'm at an hour thirteen. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. That hit me deep. What was it? What I said? Oh, about the about the love. It reacts to background music too. Okay, let's try. It. No, no, I, I I try something, but then then I get copyrighted. Green hurts the eyes more than the other colors. Scientifically proven. Ah, the voice activated lights are great. This is awesome. Voice lights. And good night, David. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up now. I'm gonna wrap up now with my new light. Oh, that's kind of blinding. Voice activated. That's that's very interesting. Okay. I, I don't is that distracting though? It's not the best look behind me. Okay. This is ridiculous, you guys. This um this was a strange night, but I, I wonder Okay, I whatever. I'm already going hour fifteen. I'm gonna ask one last thing. No, forget the poll. I'll just ask real quick and then and then we're gonna wrap up. <laughs> Should I do more streams on a, maybe maybe to protect my time i won't do saturday night because saturday night just feels like saturday wait two questions for you and then we'll go for those of you who are still sticking around this is gonna be the hardest podcast to listen to ever i might not even post this one as actually up as a podcast uh, i will who cares first question friday night okay do you do you agree with me if i say that Saturday night feels different than Friday night and that if I was to stream on one of the two nights, Friday night seems, forget about the games, 
Friday, like the Canucks games, games notwithstanding, does Friday night seem more like a streaming night than Saturday? Or another way of putting it is, would if I had to pick one to not stream on, would Saturday seem the more appropriate one not to stream on? So that's my first question. That's my first question is, do you think, do you agree with me when I say that Friday night over Saturday, if I, if you had to pick one of the two, that Friday night seems the more likely streamable night, Friday over Saturday? Yes or no? Do you agree with my sentiment that Friday night is a more appropriate, better, whatever the term you want to use than Saturday? Yes or no? So we got Friday is better. Saturday seems different than Friday's bear to stream on Friday. Yeah, sorry, tr sorry that Charlie is sick, Shannon. Friday, okay, so a lot of Friday love. Friday is better. Okay, Friday always feels great after hearing that song from American Idol. Oh, was <laughs> Friday is better. I like tonight's stream. Okay, so I prefer Saturday. That's fair. Stream Friday. Friday is better after SmackDown. No need for us to choose Clay between Saturday and Friday, but I like it when you are hosting your show, not being someone else's show. Okay, well, Fillmore, thank you, uh, Fillmore. I appreciate your, I appreciate your your um, your honesty. And you know, Canucks After Dark. I'm not sure if you're talking about Canucks After Dark or not. That is our show, me and Parker. Even though Parker initiated, but we are equals there. And Game Over. That's usually my show, and I bring guests on. So I'm not sure if you're referring to something else. Uh, balance other factors, church considerations, family time. Friday seems fun. Stream Friday night, Saturday keep for yourself. Friday Night Live back. That's right. I did Friday Night Live. Saturday seems the better night, but save Saturday for yourself. Okay. Then my last question. My last question would be this. If I do Friday night, for instance, I'm just watching what Chris just sent me. If I do Friday night, uh, th now this is, I'm just asking you because I'm vulnerable and I trust you guys. You could tell this night had a tiny bit less structure. I was a bit more free. And not that I'm guarded uh, during the weeknights, but maybe because I have a, a certain way that the show should go. So I'm not asking you, should I make the shows like this long and this loopy and this kind of unstructured and free flowing? I'm not asking you, should I do that every night? My question is, if I stream Friday nights, should I have it a, a kind of more fun, loose, whether you think this was more fun, more loose, but kind of, you. I think you'd agree tonight's vibe was a bit different. My question to you then is, do you think if I do Friday nights, should I have a vibe kind of like this, whatever this was? Yes or no? That is my last question. And then we are going to wrap up in the next minute. So if I do Friday night shows, should I try and do it um, a little bit, a little bit, I don't know if difference the right, way of putting it because now i don't want to insult like my other shows <laughs> uh coach rob says yes sarah says i like today's vibe friday night lights uh definitely fun stream on fridays make friday more like tonight carol says yes kaya says yes you have a schedule you stick to a normal streams but i think the chill streams for friday night would be nice goofy clay keep it loose on friday okay um <laughs> Harry says this vibe is perfect. And then Adam says topless. <laughs> and on that note, I think that is a great way to end up. You guys, tonight was a lot of fun. Moderators, thank you for keeping this place a safe spot as the light behind me reacts to my beautiful voice. Uh, all members, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovalander, legendary Andrew Chang, all three of them were here tonight, which was awesome. Thank you for your support. Thank you to Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. Thanks to all of you for viewing, for subscribing, for liking so much generosity tonight. It was Lucas with a donation, then Carol who gifted five memberships, then Justin who gifted five memberships, Fangirl gave a donation, then Justin gifted 10 memberships, Lucas gave another donation, Coach Rob gave a donation, then Carol gifts another five memberships, Harry with a donation, Carol with a donation, and Lucas with another donation. So by my count, I count 25 membership gifts. That's 125 bucks, 25 new people on franchise, and then another $50 in donations on top of that. This has been a lot of fun. This has been a lot of fun. And yes, I appreciate everyone being vulnerable, even people like Taylor. And uh, even though Adam wanted me to take my shirt off, which will never happen. Actually, I'm just kidding. Right now, no, I'm, I'm not going to take my shirt off. 
I don't want to be banned uh, off of YouTube and lose all my subscribers. I've worked too hard. Okay, enough, 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 enough. Thank you. <laughs> A reminder, uh, thank you to my sponsors, Van City Extras Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training, Weight Loss. Uh, thank you to um, all of you for being here. Don't forget, if you want to go on that, that trip to Seattle with me and Crazy P, email Neil Chark. Neil C at uniglobecarefree.ca. That's a $650 package um, to, to spend the night in Seattle, watch the game, and get bus ride to and from. I will not be streaming tomorrow for sure, so I'll be back on Sunday night. But tomorrow, I have game over, and I'll be joined by Sam and Kaya. Parker's going to be out of town, so Sam and Kaya will join me. So I have game over on the SDPN network tomorrow after the Vancouver Florida game, so I won't be as loopy. I have to follow a, a, a kind of a, a script there. Not a script, but a, at least a flow. But I hope you'll still join me nonetheless. And hopefully we're talking about a Canucks win. So you guys are awesome. On your way out, subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, or buy your own membership. And and uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. This was a lot of fun. I know go back and read all the comments because this was... Uh, there's a lot going on tonight, and uh, yeah, it was a, it was an awesome night. Uh, thanks all to you. So as always, stay safe. It's funny how this this light goes off. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. And as I suspected today, someone, without me knowing, has been adding soil to my garden outside. They've been adding soil. The plot thickens. God bless and go cannot go. Booyah!